What's up everybody? I'm Josh Hart. Welcome to my wine cellar. Shout out to Wine Access for helping me pimp it out. Walk me through the types of wines that you have in here and what you okay. like to drink. I'm mostly a cab guy. Um, I'm, I'm hugely into red. You only see like four whites. Three whites, actually. White burgundy. That being said, most of these are Napa Valley ones. I love Harlan, so I got, you know, three or four 15s, some 16s. One that I like this that I had is a 95. My birth year is 95, so birth year is always special. So whenever you, you know, my birthday is, I gotta pop open a 95. One of my favorite vineyards is Chateau Pane Cane, which that was like the first thing that we talked about. Yeah. The first wine we talked about, I butchered the name and she knew exactly what it was. I got a bunch of 16s, 14s, 9s, 6s. They're just the right amount. I yeah, say. just the right just amount. The right you, amount. Know, you never have too many. Eaten Chef Natasha's food before, so I came hungry because she's amazing. <laughs> so. Okay, so I chose two wines that I thought would be interesting pairings to these. So the first one um, is actually a Chardonnay. I know we're having steak. However, when you talked about the pairings with the pomegranate and the local honey, I thought it would be a nice match. So this is white burgundy from Chassagne Montrachet. Uh, it's a premier cru site, um, Le Chevenot, which is actually sits just above the slope of the Montrachet Grand Cru vineyard. So we could talk about it all day, but the proof's in the pudding, right. or the steak, I guess. <laughs> It's actually really good. I never, I never really do white wine. Like you said, it's not traditional white yeah. wine with... With the right wine the and white the right... Wine. Yeah. Yes. This is actually phenomenal. <laughs> so I think when um, anyone's learning about wine or getting more interested, it's really important to find somebody that you trust. Mm -hmm. What I hear people um, being concerned about a lot of times is like, well, how do I know if a wine is good? You know, how do I know if this is a quality wine? And so, I mean, something that we take very seriously at Wine Access is we taste every single bottle that we offer and everything has a, you know, a 500 to 1,000 word original write-up. And Yeah, <laughs> this is one of the things I thought was really cool when... Oh, the inserts, yeah. Yeah, the inserts. Were, so, it was, you know, this is Lark Mead and, um, you know, just talks about, you know, a lot of the, you know, the uh, characteristics of the wine. Yeah. When I buy a bottle, of wine from you guys, I see this and I can be like, and look at it and see what I compare it with. Exactly, food when pairing, to drink suggestions. It. Sometimes you don't really know what you're drinking, but if you have something like this, you know, you kind of know exactly what you're drinking. So I think it's kind yeah. of special. So I, Josh, thank you so much for letting us invade your home and your cellar <laughs> today. This has been really fun talking to you about wine and I always just really enjoy it, like your enthusiasm and your openness and that's what I think is the best thing about wine. It's not that, you know, everyone has to come in knowing everything, it's about the conversation and I love talking to you about it, so thank you. No, thank you for coming, it's been a, uh, a blast. Well, cheers, cheers. thanks again. Oh.